Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratku Tarot and uh, this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for October 22nd to October uh, 28, 2018 and while I'm doing the shuffling guys I want to remind you once again that this is a, a general reading for Cancer Star Signs and it is not your personal reading Therefore, uh, I will do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, as well their synergy in the spread, but it uh, falls to you at the end to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject now of a personal reading and for personal readings, uh, please check out my website. Uh, it is written down below in the description of this video and uh, there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as uh, the, their pricings. So going for the tarot spread first, now the first card here is going to be regarding the topic of your weak cancers, the second card that is going to be regarding the challenges, uh, not the challenges excuse me but the core of the situation third card is about the challenges which are causing predicaments and the last card that is going to be the guidance the tarot is offering to you. So let's see now what we have for you. The first card, this is going to be the Five of Swords. So not an, an ideal card for having a, a topic of the week. It is because this card shows that you are to face a certain amount of hostility when it comes to other people that you are interacting with and in general people who are um, at your path for good or bad reason involved into your situation. Uh, now, um, <clears throat> the nature of uh, this hostility and the nature of the attacks that you uh, are to endure uh, throughout the week could be from a wide variety. However, it is most likely these, uh, these attacks are caused by um, some certain errors that you may have done in the past, some um, uh, not very... Uh, thoughtfully, um, well, I'm trying to explain myself here, bear with me guys, uh, not very well considered decisions that you have made in the recent past as well, um, and in general they, they, these people, if I may say that way, uh, will try to use any kind of weakness that you do have and will try to use it against you toward what purpose, however, the Five of Swords does not say. And in most of the cases, the purpose is that they just can do so. I mean, it, it, there will be no um, surreptitious intentions here. They will do it because they can do it which doesn't make sense in, in the most cases, but uh, not everything that we do at the end of the day uh, makes sense at all. So in that specific case, the Five of Swords card as the topic of the week asks you to, um, to coat yourself warm, um, if I may express myself that way, and uh, try to endure whatever um, whatever mental cruelty and whatever hostility it is coming on your way because uh, you uh, it is likely that you cancers are going to feel quite despondent and quite hurt from uh, uh, from words and in general from some statements from people that you probably placed a great hopes at and now you are to see that these hopes were misplaced when it comes to the current week. Uh, very important as well with the Five of Swords is that um, is the misusage of, uh, of power. And under misusage of power here it is also the, uh, the, that the situation will be de deprived of, uh, of much sense. For me, just to give you an example here, misusage of power could be that your boss is definitely is kind of like um, bruising himself upon you to do a certain thing, even though uh, you have proposed to do something better. However, because this something better didn't come from himself, but it come from you, the pride kicks in, and therefore the misusage of power because it's his, it's your boss, and you are to do what they tells you to do. All right, even though it's not gonna lead to a better end. So at the end of the day uh, you will not be able to do much about it. 
and uh, this card is also very heavy when it comes to relationship because with it you may expect that uh, some wounds are going to be inflicted a uh, mental wounds so wounds through speech and um, through mutual allegations as well now the next card is about the core of the situation here this is going to be the ace of swords and the ace of swords uh, unlocks a, a huge amount of creative energy the problem is that this creative energy is most likely unlocked through um, a difficult time you can look at it like um, the things are going so bad that in reality there is nothing left for you to lose but to make a, a final push with whatever means necessary in order to improve your current circumstances and that is usually again created uh, this prerequisite is created through conflicts and what we do have here are the conflicts so this is the very initial stage of a huge creative drive toward one relationship or toward one career unfortunately the seed of that drive it is not something pleasant but it is rather unpleasant so the misfortune here will make you do something to improve your circumstances and uh, <clears throat> that could be as well related to a, a big insight that uh, you may have regarding your projects a job especially regarding projects a job recognizing that you can be uh, much more efficient if you approach the situation from a different way and as soon as you do so uh, you are being attacked from your co-workers from your boss from your supervisor mentally I uh, I, I mean here verbally as well uh, not to do so because it does not let's say fall very well with the code of conduct that the company is following just one second to close my window so uh, <clears throat> with that specific sense uh, these couple of cards here uh, are asking you basically to be strong and uh, nothing else uh, then then the uh, if we're talking about relationships how this uh, how this is going through that is a, a mutual reveal uh, uh, reveal if that is a word of course you know <clears> that you reveal uh, what you don't like uh, in the relationship your partner reveals what they don't like in the relationship as well and this rev these revelations are going to inflict some wounds um, in both of you which signifies by the five of swords here and this is why it's important that the pride is uh, put on the shelf here and instead of you constantly alligating each other and uh, blaming one another for why the situation is like that instead of doing so it, it will be advisable to do uh, the profound conversation and meaningful conversation of how things can improve and what you can do both of you I mean to make the things improve the next card is about the challenges which are causing predicaments <clears throat> like the challenges are uh, not present until this very moment but still we do have a challenging position and that is the tree of pentacles so the tree of pentacles is telling us only one thing here is that you may you will not have many options available uh, tree of pentacles it's about you know choosing the way how to approach the situation and as it is a challenging position then it means that you will not have much of a right of choosing here but the situation can be approached can be approached from only one perspective from only one angle therefore you have to make your homework homework quite well also the card is about cons um, consulting yourself with somebody or it is also about cooperation therefore uh, this card speaks as a challenge here is that you will not have much you will not face excuse me much of a support from uh, the people which are surrounding your situation well in other words guys um, I'm, I'm sorry to say that to you but this is what the cards are pointing here is, is that you are on your own at least for that week regarding your battle regarding your struggle that doesn't mean however that you won't be able to pull it through you will be it is just you know you have to be prepared here to face some intense intensity regarding the verbal attacks from um, <clears throat> from the other people that are around you and the last card here is about the guidance that uh, you should follow 
um, which is the world card. So the world card is about completion. Everybody knows that. But if we if we are following it as a guidance, that card asks you to liberate yourself from some uh, poignant influence which is around you, to liberate yourself from people who are serving nothing but to make you feel despondent, um, liberate yourself from situations which are serving no other purpose but to be a, a predicament in your life as well, etc., etc. So you can, um, so you, uh, afterwards when that is done, the, the liberation is done, you can saturate that place uh, which is already empty uh, from the process of liberation with a, a thing that actually you can make usage of in your daily routine. So in that specific sense, the world card asks you to uh, try to achieve um, how can I place it? Some new perspectives in your life, all right? But the major issue here should be resolved by you being honest, by you being pretty straightforward, and by you being open toward it. You know, trying to give a silent treatment, being surreptitious, and um, hoping that if you ignore the situation, it's going to resolve on its own accord. The ignorance is only going to feed up the, uh, the fires of war. And this is the last thing that you do uh, want. As a matter of fact, as we said, the Tree of Pentacles is saying that there is only one way you can approach the situation. You know what the way is. So be, have a little bit more courage within you and charge forward. So that was the tarot reading for you cancers for the upcoming week. Now let's see what the Lenormand cards are about to say for you. Now they're going to show us an uh, event that um, you should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid. So let's see now. So the first card that we do have, this is going to be the garden. And the garden is, uh, is standing for social gathering, crowded places. Uh, then we do have the tower. The tower stands for government institution, it stands for business, it, st it stands as well for isolation and seclusion. And the last one, this is going to be the bear. The bear stands for resources, it stands for as well a um, <clears throat> strong-headed, right, like an yielding. And uh, in very rare cases, it stands as well for... Um, support. So what we do have here is a a, a strong-headed, big um, big society, if I may say it that way, with a certain code of conduct, which is causing you all these issues. So that will be a social gathering. Uh, in um, how can I place it? Not in, not in a government institution. This card does not stands for a government institution. It stands for something like a business here. Business that has a lot of resources. So the, these people that does have a um, a huge a, a big social status. All right, and you will be among them. And it is where the attacks most likely are gonna come from. Now, if I have to close up the event, I have to draw another uh, another Lenormand card, but it's gonna become way too much, all right? So what the event is that you should that you should either look forward to or try to avoid is that you are going to be invited on a, a big social gathering that has to do something with business and with spreading resources, and it is where, you know, all these, um, confrontations, should I say that way, are going to be um, presented to you or they are going to kind of affect your daily routine. <clears throat> and in order for you to accomplish those resources, there will be only one way to do so. And by any means, you um, you have a choice to make here. Now, we do have all minor arcanas here for the material cycle of the week. And as they are minor arcanas, that means that you can either go for or you can avoid them. That is entirely up of your choosing. So, uh, or that could be as well a court, all right? Uh, a big social gathering, a court, which court is is to decide about a, uh, a certain resources. Th that could be, you know, a dispute regarding business. It could be also a separation, you know, divorce that you are running, uh, running through, etc., etc. But the thing is that something about resources will be to, to be decided from, um, from auditory, from audience, and you are to be criticized about it. 
So that being said, Cancers, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for October 22nd to October 28th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, this was just a, a general reading for Cancer Star Sign. This was not your personal reading. Therefore, I tried my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye-bye.